Well, apart from the cat's contribution, by a long margin, the funniest element of this uh, political gathering came today from Boris Johnson, old Oxford playmate of the Prime Minister, Mayor of London, cyclist and hairdresser's despair. He is one of the best-known Tories in Britain and possesses a towering ambition, enough for many to consider him the perfect next leader. When we met, I started off by asking him about the riots. Boris Johnson, uh, David Cameron described the riots this summer as revealing a sickness in parts of our society. Do you agree with that? I certainly, I certainly do. I think that the riots were like kind of um, flipping up a, a big fat rock and seeing some things I think we've been hiding from ourselves. And obviously, you know, left-wing people will say it's all about spending more money and it's about the budget cuts and all the rest of it. And others will say, well, it's about boundaries and giving kids discipline and, and all the rest of it and certainly I think that uh, there are there are issues and you've got to look at the sense of uh, easy entitlement that too many young people have and you've also got to look at uh, ways of uh, steering them on to better things so and, would you and like so, to, so uh... to say that to say that there's a there's a, there's a um, a problem or a sickness or whatever metaphor you, you want to use is, is to me is to me quite quite sensible. So would you like to withdraw your comment when you describe no, the allegation? Because I know what you're going to say. I don't withdraw my comment that if you say that Britain is broken, you then, said it was piffle. Then uh, that well, uh, okay, I, I think I think I was I was right because you I you know this is a this is a distinction without a difference. This is what I'm saying, and it's very, let's, let's be absolutely clear. I think Britain is the most fantastic country. Yeah, 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 Obviously, yeah, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. It's a very important but point. You've just said a very important point. The, 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 very important the, the, point. the accusation that parts of it are sick is true. Yes, but that doesn't mean that the machine, that the the organism as a whole, is fatally flawed yeah. or vitiated. You, so, that, to say that something is broken, if you say that, if you say that that so camera is broken, then it wouldn't function at all, uh, would it? Well, it could be broken and still function, obviously. No, if it was broken, if you in, in 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 common parlance, Jeremy, if you said that camera was broken, then it wouldn't function. You say I've got a broken camera, but it's still working. People would people wouldn't understand what you were saying. That camera is not broken. There may be parts of it that could do it. In fact, I can see. Then I look at it. I can see there are the, the parts of the underside of that camera that uh, uh, are, 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 are a bit scuffed. Yeah. Uh, and, so and, it's a bit uh, of scuff. That's, that's what you're saying. Things are always in need of Fine. attention. Okay. Let me ask there you are problems that are always question. in need of addressing, and clearly yeah. there are very serious issues you, in our society that need tackling. And what and the riots is inequality showed, one of them? What the riots? Do you showed, think we're too unequal a society? What, uh, I, I do. And you, you have do to, think it's too unequal a society? Uh, yes. And, but and why you, do you, you want to make to, the inequality worse then? And you have to look at the. You do the want reasons. to make it worse, don't you? No. You have to look at the you reasons. You want to abolish the 50p rate of tax? That would make the inequality worse. That wouldn't or it would? You just it would, wouldn't. it would. Well, I, Clearly I, I don't, would. I'm, I'm not Richard certain that's... Richard people would have more money left. I'm not certain that's, that's true, because as you know, uh, y you can't necessarily make uh, poor people richer by making rich people poorer. And what you can do, though... But it would mean that rich people have more money in their pockets, by definition. It, well, there's, a, there's an argument to be had about competitiveness. And about that's a different argument. No, it's exactly the same argument. You've just conceded we're too no. unequal a society. Yes, and I, I think... wonder then, in that context, why you think rich people should be able to keep more of their money. The argument is that just just so we can be clear, the argument is that if you create conditions and and the right tax framework, safe city, uh, all those are part of it. You create conditions in which uh, business can prosper, enterprise can flourish then you will drive jobs and growth for everybody. And that's the argument, that is the argument for uh, having a competitive tax regime. And I, I look... This is another uh, the, the, argument altogether. I just asked you about inequality. So you just asked me two questions. One, which, one was about, about, one was about inequality more... and one was about the 50p tax Fine. rate. And what, I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that uh, I, I can see the symbolic importance of the 50p tax rate, sure. and in tough times, I can certainly see. And there are practical I consequences. I can certainly people see. People retain more of their money if you, if you remove the higher rate of tax. That's are, self-evidently true. There is a, a lot of ambiguity uh, about how much the 50p tax rate actually raises, if, 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 we're, if we're honest. And the, the Treasury is, is looking into it. And the, and the second point. That's is, another argument. The, the second point is. Uh, that you've got to look at the context in which a city like London, the whole UK economy, is competing. The way to tackle inequality is to look at what is happening to people in the bottom deciles of society, look at what they are really being deprived of. 
But when we talk about deprivation, we talk about we richer. talk about deprivation, and the, the issue is deprived of what by whom. And it may very well be that what people need is they need better education, and they need uh, a greater sense stronger of, framework, uh, stronger fr sense of community, exactly a sense right. of being loved, and so on. All, but all you've those, gone that all completely those, all off those the things. point. No, no, no I'm, I think the we're 50, completely on the point. On the 50, that is what is causing inequality. 50, no, sorry. On the 50p no, sorry, point, Jeremy, that is what is causing the 50p rate of tax, does it bother you that the Treasury clearly regards you as an eccentric irrelevance? Uh, I'm not certain that that is what the Treasury think. I think if, well, you, if, if they you didn't at, think that, they'd have acted on your advice, wouldn't they? I think there are people in the Treasury who understand very well that the arguments for having uh, high rates of taxation are not very well made out, particularly since it actually makes so why the risk doing? is the risk. Well, the risk is that it makes the UK look less competitive. Uh, this is a very, very tough economic yes. environment we're in. People are being squeezed. People are fa facing. Uh, real increases in their cost of living. So when they, when they see people like me on the telly saying uh, high tax rates make Britain uncompetitive, they think, well, so all that, I don't care. Uh, the rich should pay more. And I can perfectly understand that argument. But I'm obliged to, to point out two things. One, that the, the revenue that actually accrues to the Treasury from the, from the tax point. rate is, is in that. And second, that in the long term, in, in, perhaps even in the medium term, you've got to question whether it's right for the UK to be hobbling itself with a, with a, a higher rate of, of taxation than America, than France, than Germany, yeah, you than made Japan. That too. Uh, right, let's move on. Speak. What's the difference and, and, between you and okay. David Cameron? Well, I'm mayor of London, he's prime minister. And I, well, In I'm, political I'm older terms. than him. I'm older than I'm considerably heavier. Um, what else? I beat him at tennis the other day. Um, though I think he's probably better at tennis than me. Is the truth. What else can I say? Politically, what's the difference? I mean, we know you differ on the 50p rate of tax. You differ on yes, the like European like referendum. What else do you differ on? Well, you just, you just tried to answer the question. Well, I'm trying to help you, because you're talking about tennis and things. And what we really want to know is what do you political want to... differences. Are there any political differences between you and Cameron? Well, you know, I think there is a really good when did you last stop, when did you stop beating your wife questions. You really you cook, this, you cook this one up carefully. Um, I suspect there, there may be some differences of emphasis, uh, but I'm not disposed to go into them now, because what I want to talk about on, because... on your show, uh, Jeremy, is I want to talk about the things that matter to me. And I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm sufficiently right, versed in the you. ways of the media and indeed your brilliant interviewing technique. To know that if I talk now about the differences between me and Cameron, whatever they may be, all the things I want to say, and I've been saying in that hall about what we're doing in London, will be completely obscured in some kind of Tory split story, which is all you're trying to be. You know, what is no, no, difference? actually, I, was let's, con I, was, let's, well, I did let's, want to talk about something that really matters to John. you. That's your future in the party. Because as you well know, people out there are talking all the time about who's going to be the next leader. And they see it as a race between you and George Osborne. Well, I think, in, uh, as I... Would um, a Boris leadership be different? I think my chances... Leadership? Listen, I think my chances of leading the Conservative Party are slightly less good than your chances, <laughs> Jeremy. Well, so, so you know, let's, let's, let's be clear. I've got a... I've got a and I wish you, you, you may be about to make a, make a, a bid for it. I don't know. But... Um, well, if they're we, that good, I might. <laughs> <laughs> so can we take it, then, given your wholehearted commitment to your role as Mayor of London, that if you are re-elected, there is no possibility of you standing for party. There is not a snowball's chance in Hades or a cat's chance. There, I, why, no. The, the job of Absolutely Mayor of London... out of the question. The, if, if you're, if you're um, someone like you, 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 mm. you, you, you love politics and you're, you're fascinated mm. in, in, in doing things, the job of Mayor of London is simply the most engrossing and intoxicating, I would say, in, in, in a metaphorical way, uh, job that you could possibly do. It gluts the appetite for power, for executive authority. It is endlessly absorbing um, and you, you know, and there are no I circumstances I, I, under which you would allow your name to go forward to become an MP while you are mayor of London. No, no, that would be uh, wrong. No, you can't seek a mandate so, to do so one So what's thing. the scheme then? You, you become the first Tory leader in the House of Lords since what, Lord Salisbury or someone? But I, what I've always, won, I mean, always baffles me. I, I'm going to be your campaign manager. That's what I'm going to do because, as I've what? said, you have a better chance than I do, Jeremy. You're, you know, you I think, I think, no, I think you might well. You don't. Uh, you've got the, you've got the gravitas. 
you've got the you've got the name recognition. Uh, you know, you, you, you kind of, everybody knows that you're probably quite conservative, but even though you, you sort of levitate over party policy, I think you'd be an ideal, I, listen, you know, what about it? The, down the line, Dave's eventually going to, going to pack it in, and, and... Have you finished? <laughs> it's a, look, it's an offer. <laughs> well, it's very generous, but I'm going to be declining it. Uh, just, you, 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 you mentioned Dave. Is it true that you've always felt yourself slightly intellectually inferior? Inferior? Inferior. <laughs> no. No. To whom? To David Cameron, your leader. No. Well, that's a new one. No, no I haven't. But on the other hand, I can see where this is leading. I, I, it's not something you mean, you mean, I either think you, logically, I must either think myself intellectually superior or inferior to any other human being. Look, we know you're a shrinking violet and naturally yeah. modest. Yeah. But it's not true. No. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. No. It's the first time you've heard of it. Uh, yes. This goes back to the days, of course, when he got a first and you didn't. Ah. Yes. Does that still rankle a bit? Well, it, it would if it wasn't that his first was in PPE. <laughs> Which is an inferior subject to your own. <laughs> Look, I mean, you know, this is... Oh, cool. This is playground stuff, Jeremy. You're quite right, it is. This is playground stuff. It, I don't, look, and what, your, your performance what, has not been playground-like. What people... Well, you know, I, I've, I've done my best under some, under, some, under some pretty... Look, what people want to, to hear about is the things that we're doing in London, and that was what I was talking about Certainly was. today. And I'm very proud of, of, of what we've achieved. And um, what I said about crime matters a great deal to people. What I said about investing in transport matters a great deal to people. And I'm, as everybody knows, I'm hugely lucky to be doing this job. I mean, you get to back, the, 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 the thrust of what you're asking me, which is sort of, do I see this as a, a, a step? It is not. It is something that I love doing. I, I really don't. I, as I said ages ago, I don't think I will do another big job in politics apart from this. I really don't. Um, it's, it's a completely wonderful and fascinating job. All I want to do is persuade people I've got another four years of... of, of good stuff in us and, and that's what I want to do. Boris Johnson, thanks. Thank you.